There are two types of special triangles that we see all the time, and one of them is a 30-60-90. Basically what happens, if you, if you took a, uh, an equilateral triangle and bisected it, you'd get a 30-60-90 right triangle, okay? 30-60-90 right triangles have, have really special um, relationships between the sides, okay? Down here it says use the Pythagorean theorem. Um, let's just wave our hands and say that we did that. If we did the Pythagorean theorem, we'd find this missing side is the square root of 3. Okay? Um, and so that is probably worth memorizing. I don't know if you need to memorize it or, or, or something, but, but remember that because that comes up all the time. It'll come up in calculus, those of you taking calculus next year or math beyond this. It just comes up often enough to where you should probably learn those relations. One thing that I like to remember is 1... 2 square root of 3. It's like 1, 2, 3, but it's, it's 1, 2 square root of 3. Okay? Um, that's something to remember. Example 3 says find the six trig function values for a 60 degree angle. Okay? So let's look back at that special triangle. Okay? Um, which one's this? This one? So we've got a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. I remember this was 1. This one was two. The hypotenuse is twice as big as the short leg, and then the long leg is the square root. Okay, there's our relationship. We should be able to remember that and just knock that out. Okay, so if I had to find the six trig function, remember those are relationships of two sides. Okay, compared to this angle, of course. So if I had to find sine 60, we're not in standard position. We're not in standard position, so I'd just do Sokotoa. That's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Sine 60 is the square root of 3 over 2. Cosine 60. Again, cosine 60. Let me get 60. Cosine 60 is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. That's one half. Tangent of 60 is going to be opposite over adjacent. That's going to be square root of 3. Okay. Square root of 3 over 1 or square root of 3. Alright, so that's the big 3. That's the big 3. Now, if you find those 3, you should be able to find the other 3 because you know reciprocals. Cosecant 60 degrees is going to be 2 over the square root of 3. And secant 60 is going to be 2. And cotangent 60 degrees is going to be 1 over the square root of 3. Now, of course, we're going to have to rationalize some of those denominators. And so, if we did that, I'm going to kind of wave my hands and do it quickly. 2 squared of 3 over 3, and that would be squared of 3 over 3. All right, so find the six trig function values for a 60 degree angle. Now, that's not all we can do, okay? Let's say we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And let's say that all we know is this side is 4, okay? A lot of the times they'll have you find the missing sides, okay? But if you know the relationship, if you know that the hypotenuse in a 30, 60, 90 is twice as big as the short leg, it's easy to see that that hypotenuse is going to be 8 because there's a certain relationship. Remember that 1, 2, square root of 3, okay? And this just, I mean, it's, it's square root of 3 now, but the only reason that's square root of 3 is because this side is 1. Basically what it is is 1 times the square root of 3. The long side of a 30, 60, 90 is going to be 4 times that square root of 3. So you still have that relationship of short leg, twice the short leg, and short leg times the square root of 3. So if I give you another one. Okay, so this is 30, this is 60, and this is 7. Okay? The relationship, I can quickly, really quickly tell you what the hypotenuse is. Anybody know what the hypotenuse is? 14. Anybody know what the long leg is? 7 squared 3. Okay, that's worth remembering. That's, that, that comes up. Okay? It comes up quite often. So then the other special triangle is a 45, 45, 90. Okay? And the Pythagorean theorem would tell me that the hypotenuse there is the square root of 2. Okay? So they say find the trig function values. I guess they're talking about a 45. Sine 45, cosine 45, tangent 45, okay. 
So it's sine 45, look at your angle, opposite over hypotenuse is 1 over square root 2. Okay? Cosine 45, the adjacent over hypotenuse. Same thing, 1 over square root 2. Tangent 45 is going to be opposite over adjacent, that's 1 over 1. Okay? So obviously we would uh, rationalize those. And simplify that. Okay, so then if I had to do reciprocals, reciprocal functions, cosecant 45 degrees is going to be the square root of 2. I just flipped the red one. Secant 45 is going to be the square root of 2, and cotangent 45 degrees is going to be 1. So those are your six trig functions. Okay, now we can do other examples if you notice the relationship. In 45, 45, 90, let's say this side is 5. Okay? Look at your relationship between the sides. It's 1, 1, square root of 2. 1, 1, 2. 1, 1, square root of 2. Okay? So, anybody tell me what the other side of this triangle is? It's going to have to be 5. It's a match. Anybody tell me what the hypotenuse is? 5 times the square root of 2. That stuff, that pattern comes up all the time. Okay? Here's another one. That's 45, and that's 45, and that's 90. Let's say this is 7. You should be able to tell me the other side without using your trig functions. Okay, you could use your trig functions, I suppose. You could find sine, go you could, you could use trigonometry, or you could just use the pattern. I know that's 7, and I know that's square, 7 squared. Okay, those are special triangles, and those come up all the time.